Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Did you guys pick up on that? Sure mm -hmm. did. Signal the husband. <clears throat> With a nice pass over the reef, comes across center ice. <clears throat> Well, as it turns out, there is no such thing as a male or female brain. Researchers at Tel Aviv University analyzed 1,400 brains, looking primarily at three features that have been previously shown to correlate with gender. Patterns of brain connectivity, gray matter, the meat of the brain, or white matter, the cells that help gray matter areas communicate. The researchers reasoned that if there really are pronounced differences between male and female brains, then they should see a clear split in these features one set of features in men's brains and another in women's. But alas, they found no such split. Instead, their analysis showed that it's extremely rare for a brain to show any masculine or feminine features. Nearly all the brains they looked at contained the mix of both. That's right, these brain features are not dichotomous. Rather, they occur on a spectrum, from more male to more female. These results contradict several previous studies, studies that generated lots of media attention and rampant sexist speculation. The memory centers of the brain, it's called the hippocampus, significantly more active in women than in men, which is why she remembers your first kiss and every time your mother was rude to her. This also happened. How many of you have a good sense of direction? More guys I'm seeing raising their hand than women, and that's my experience. In one case, a study found that women's brains have more white matter while men's have more gray. One of the co-authors concluded that's why men are hardwired to be good at math while women are good at language. Another researcher who co-authored a paper about gender and brain connectivity said in an interview that his findings explained why women have better intuition, since that's linked with being good mothers. Sure, the data may be solid, but the conclusions are flimsy. You see, there could be differences between the structure of the male and female brains they looked at, but that doesn't in any way tell us, well, anything about how that relates to behavior or skills like intuition, language, or math. And it certainly can't tell us whether those skills are hardwired. A lifetime of socialization could have caused those changes, not innate brain structure. I love my Easy Bake Oven. And here's an interesting twist. Many scientists believe that even if those brain differences exist, they're an artifact of body size, not sex. On average, people who identify as female are smaller than those who identify as male. So their organs, like their liver, heart, and yes, their brains, are smaller too. Smaller brains may process information differently, leading to distinctive patterns of connectivity or distributions of white and gray matter. Plus, drawing an arbitrary line between male and female brains leaves out the loads of people who don't identify as men or women. This study shows that thinking about sex in a binary way is not only inaccurate, it's also unproductive from a scientific perspective. Like gender identity, sex differences in the brain are fluid and multifaceted. The Tel Aviv researchers described the brain in their study as a unique mosaic of features. And thanks to their work, scientists will make strides towards understanding that rich spectrum.